Hey, now, look where we are at, Yogi Berra. Now, a lot of you are probably asking, Frank, why are you wearing a Yogi Berra signed T-shirt? I'm glad you asked. I'm going to answer that question right now. So I was in Times Square on a random Tuesday. I don't know when, maybe late 90s, early 2000s. All of a sudden, I see Mr. T, like right at Times Square, and he's filming something, and there's this Haynes billboard all around. And then before you know, there are some autograph people behind there, and Mr. T's not signing. And then behind there is Dick Clark and Yogi Berra. Dick Clark didn't want to have anything to do with anybody. And Yogi Berra was there also, just sort of minding his own business. And it was some kind of promotion for the Haynes uh, tagless T-shirts. Undershirts, this right here. And so they were handing out T-shirts to everyone. Yogi Bear is just there minding his own business. And they're asking him to sign. He's ignoring it. And then someone, these guys are crazy. And I don't want to say crazy. Uh, it's like, hey, how about you sign a Haynes T-shirt? And he goes, okay. And he started signing T-shirts. There couldn't have been more than 10 people there. So somehow they, someone handed him a Sharpie. He wasn't signing anything of value, but he was signing the T-shirts that they were there. he was there to promote. Just on the street, like right in Times Square behind a barrier. So, yes, I have a Yogi Berra signed Hanes T-shirt. I have never worn this T-shirt until right now. I saved it. The autograph should be in like pristine condition. So, but I had to show it off since we're talking about Yogi Berra. I had to dig it out. I knew where it was. I'm wearing a shirt underneath it just because I don't want it to smell, to be honest, even though I showered. Digress again. So, yeah. So, this is one of my two Yogi Berra autographs right here. The other one is we're going to show you right now. Uh, so, this Yogi Berra right here, I know it's small. The picture doesn't do it justice. Uh, I got this signed in 1997 on a sweet spot on a ball. And this was signed in Atlantic City. And this was actually a really interesting show because it was the last paid appearance for Joe DiMaggio and Catfish Hunter. Uh, I already had Joe DiMaggio at that time autograph. I got him the year before at the National. But it was also uh, Catfish Hunter's last appearance. So nobody knew that shortly thereafter he'd be diagnosed with, unfortunately, with ALS. And he passed away a short time later. So, but... uh. Again, let's talk a little bit about the autograph of Yogi Berra. He was a Hall of Famer in 1972. I mean, every some people argue he's the greatest catcher ever. Really popular guy. Everyone who knew him loved him. I mean, it's very rare to find, I would say, a fake Yogi Berra autograph. Looking at the database right here, really what you want to look for. And again, if you're watching these videos, my guess is you're familiar with Yogi Berra. He signed cards. He signed his full name, Lawrence Peter Berra. There are checks out there through Steiner. Like, you name it, it's out there for Yogi Berra. Like, he was on this circuit for such a long time. Uh, classic photo with him and Babe Ruth. And, again, when you're looking for Yogi Berra, you want to see the O usually inside the big loop of the Y. Sometimes it goes outside. And what I look for is you want to see a full G. Uh, we'll show a couple of fakes in a minute here. But, again, I know it's tough to see it. But, again, you're just looking for the big loop. His autograph did not change much at all through the years. It's just like a later in life signed signature. Again, you can sort of see the O and the G. He sometimes ignored the O, but you should be able to make out at least the G and the dot. And again, the Barra, it's consistent throughout. It was just very uh, sort of flamboyant with the A looping in. There should be no hesitancies whatsoever. Again, you could see the O, you could see the G. He did have a stamp that he did use. And the stamp, I don't know if I have a picture of it, but like it looks like Y, O, G, I, all the way across. It looks like a stamp. It looks very, very neat. So, I mean, I'm not really familiar of a true secretary. Again, like this is an original contract from 1949. And even then you could see the B coming straight down and the A. This is a little bit nicer. But again, this is close to his rookie year. Uh, he signed, this is a very old, and again, I, you're not going to see this autograph very often. Again, we're looking now at older autographs when he was a player. He would sign the Yogi. Again, it's the Barra is still pretty much the same. The Yogi was more spread out, and the stamp looks more like that. But again, the more modern autographs, yeah, these are some really old autographs here, 1975. Now, again, even by 1979, the O and the G are starting to come into the loop. So thanks to the people of Outer Safe, again, I just want to show a couple of fake autographs and what to look for. And again, they're not common at all. 
Let's see if I can just zoom this up a little. So right here, this is a fake autograph. And again, it's tough to see, but you it looks like just the Y. You can't even see a G. It's just like a Y and almost another Y. And the bear is not horrible, but it's bad enough. Again, another one right here. This is the GAI cert. And again, the bear, uh, they did a decent job. The problem is you can't make out the O. You can't make out the G. It looks very similar to this bad fake. The people at Outer Safe are really great. Again, this is a good one here. And so you can see the O sort of is on the same line, linear to the where the Y is right here. You can sort of see the G right there. So again, not a rare autograph at all. If you have any doubts about it, the people, the admins at Outer Safe know that Yogi Bear is really, really good at him. Uh, it's worth it. Give him six bucks if you're looking at buying one. That's a cheap price to pay. I can't recommend them highly enough. Uh, they're on the Facebook group, Outer Safe. And that's about it. Again, I don't think there's anyone out there that really wants Yogi Bear that doesn't have it. I mean, full name, Hall of Fame. It should be more than $50 for an autograph, not more than 100 for a nice baseball because he signed that much. So I'm showing off my T-shirt. This is priceless. That's right. Can't make me an offer on my signed Haynes Yogi Bear T-shirt. And that's about it. Uh, we're getting into a stretch now of some really boring names, in my opinion. Biggio, like Bly 11, and I think uh, Way Box, like those are coming up. Uh, again, very easy names to acquire, very boring names, in my opinion. I like doing the vintage, but we're going to get to them anyways. So that's about it. As always, keep collecting.